Let us now look into some of the most common digital logic blocks which are used in processor designs and many other designs. The first concept is the multiplexer. So a multiplexer is nothing but it's also known as a selector. So assuming you have two inputs A and B, using a multiplexer you can select either A or B to pass through the remaining remaining circuit. So the symbol for the MUX is this one. So the MUX has two ports. This is known as a 2 to 1 MUX. 2 to 1 MUX. MUX stands for multiplexer. So the 2 to 1 MUX has two ports, the 0 port and the 1 port. Inputs can be connected to the ports. So you have A connected to port 0, B connected to port 1 and then you have a select line or a selector and you have output F. So if select equals to 0, F is equals to A and if select equals to 1, F is equals to B. Right. So if your select equals to 0, port 0 is selected and if your select equals to 1, port 1 is selected. When port 0 is selected, A goes to the output, so F is equals to A. And when your select is 1, B goes to the output, therefore F equals to B. That is how a multiplexer works. And you can write the logic expression for F. So F is equals select prime A or select and B. So instead of select, I can just write S. So F is equals S prime A or S and B. So that's the multiplexer. The reason it is called a 2 to 1 multiplexer is because you have two inputs and one output. So only one, out so only one input is allowed to pass through the output. Then you can also have a 4 to 1 mux. So in your 4 to 1 MUX, you're going to have F, 4 inputs and 1 output. The 4 inputs can be A, B, C, D. So to select, if you look at your 2 to 1 MUX, to select one of the two inputs, you need a 1 bit select line. But in a 4 to 1 MUX, if you want to select one of the four inputs, you would need to have a 2 bit select line. And this is port 0, 0. So when S is 0, 0, F is equals to A. When S is 0, 1, F is equals to B. When S is 1, 0, F is equals to C. And when S is 1, 1, F is equals to D. So when S is equals to 0, 0, F is equals to A or F gets A. When S is 0, 1, F gets B. When S is 1, 0, F gets C. And when S is 1, 1, F gets D. So this is a 4 to 1 mux. Similarly, you can also have an 8 to 1 mux. So 8 to 1 MUX would look something like this. So that's, let's call this I0, I1, I2, I3, I4, I5, I6, and I7. You have only one output F. Now if you want to select one out of eight, you need three bits. So your select line will be 3 bits wide. So when, so this is port 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1, 1. 
So for example, when S is 0, 1, 1, your F is equals to I3. So when S is 0, 0, 0, F is I0. When S is 0, 0, 1, F is I1, and so on. When S is 1, 1, 1, F is I7. So this is an 8 to 1 mux. Similarly, you can have a 16 to 1 mux, 60, 32 to 1 mux, 64 to 1 mux, 128 to 1 mux, and so on. So let's look at the 2 to 1 mux, which is something like this. The 0 port and the 1 port. You have F, you have select, and you have the two inputs A and B. And we said that F is equals S prime and A or S and B, right? Now here, A and B are single bit values, which means they can either hold logic zero or logic one. In fact, you can also have A and B a bit vector. So for example, if you have A and B inputs, the select input and output F. A can be a 4-bit and B can be a 4-bit. Note that both A and B should be of the same size and your F will always be a 4-bit in this case because your F is either equal to A or it is equal to B depending upon S. So for this you have F of 0 equals S prime A of 0 or S and B of 0, F of 1 equals S prime A of 1 or S and B of 1. Similarly, you can have F2 and F3.